a one-stop shop video for all of the amazing Amazon finds that you can find for van life. Hey guys, I'm Antoinette Yvonne, the luxury nomad, and this is my Van Zion. A tremendous goal of mine was to break away from the norm and live life how I desire and where I desired it to be. We are now walking through the city of Jerusalem. Who would have thought this ex-expat would be living in a van full-time, exploring more of her own backyard? After spending the entire summer home in the Midwest, I'm preparing the van to hit the road again. Join me on today's video as we normalize the luxury to live free, despite our fears. Cheers to doing it anyways. Guys, before we get into today's video, I want to thank Surfshark for partnering with me on it. So stay tuned for more details on becoming virtually secure and how you can get 83% off on doing so. Just arrived from Ohio last night getting the long-awaited upgrades installed to my van Zion so we're just trying to figure out the things that I want done obviously we're getting some upgrades but we shall see <sighs> I'm a proud mom right now if you haven't seen that video in regards to our new powerful electrical upgrades I'll link the card above so you can see how we will now be rolling in these van life streets I can't believe I've been home all summer. Wow, I know y'all miss me being on the road because I miss me being on the road. But the plan is to head northwest. But before that, we have a busy two days ahead of us. Now that Zion has been upgraded pretty much all around, including new shoes. Eventually, we're gonna get these wheels together, but I'm excited for my shoes, baby. Um, I went with the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAKO2 tires. And I'm so excited. It looks so sexy. It's time for us to clean her up, repack her up, to get road ready. Those of you who have been following me for quite some time know that I have a love, love relationship with Amazon, right? And the next she shed, I have some much needed Amazon packages to open. I've been ordering things all summer. The remaining items should be arriving today. But I thought I'd give you guys a one-stop shop video for all of the amazing Amazon finds that you can find for van life. Now, because this list is a pretty lengthy list, I may not stop and explain every single item. I may brush through some things, especially if they are self-explanatory, but that's what the pause button is for. <laughs> Just know that everything that I state in this video will be listed in the description box. It is 9.30 and I really need to go to First, get me some Starbucks coffee. Second, go to Joanne's Fabric to get me some fabric for my back area. Let's get this day started, y'all. So this first category is going to be all about road safety and camping essentials. First item that you can get from Amazon are these leveling blocks. I like these over the stacking leveling blocks because you can easily slide on them. And also those stackable leveling blocks, I see that they break pretty easily. Numero dos. My wheel brake lock. My wheel lock break. I think that's how you say it. This gives me an extra peace of mind because I know that can't nobody just, just take off in my van my home next my camping headlamp i love this thing it's so cute especially at night and in campsites i love being able to have this headlamp on and walking i don't have to walk with a flashlight i can just put my little headlamp down and and, and there's light next small but simple my map next my rechargeable stunt gun and my rechargeable stunt gun flashlight does it work 
it does tested and tried not on myself obviously next my biodegradable trash bags i call them my biodegradable poop bags and lastly in this category my battery operated string lights y'all I, I did take the plunge and i got these string lights from the last videos you guys have been suggesting i picked some out and they are a go guys so since we are in the spirit of talking about safety let me be the one to tell you that virtual safety is just as important as the physical and today's video partner surfshark is the safest way that i protect myself virtually it is a private vpn that protects your information by encrypting all of the data that you send through the internet why is it important so when you are working out of a coffee shop or using any public wi-fi it securely connects said public wi-fi hotspot keeping anyone unwanted from seeing your pii personal identifiable information there are some good hackers out there they smart so in order to get ahead of the game these smart hackers can't get your private bank account information they can't get your personal passwords dot 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 are you picking up what i'm putting down good I also use a private VPN when I'm traveling outside of the country. If you didn't know, streaming services in different countries have different movies. It's called geoblocking, restricting access to internet content based upon the user's geographical location. Surfshark gives you all the access you need. Just connect to the service and access granted. So, Surfshark is an app and a browser extension that basically enables you to place your laptop or phone anywhere in the world. Now, if you want to join me and be secure in these virtual streets, I'll leave the link in the description box. Use my promo code AYVON and you can get 83% off of your subscription, which is the best VPN price in the market. And you will get up to three months for free. Another and they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk if you want to try it out for yourself. Okay, so the next set of items are pertaining to van, van build items and co. Some of these items may be useful if you're actually building a van um, with the whole setup. Some of these items may be helpful if you are kind of winging it. Either way, they are related to van. The first item is my progressive dynamic converter charger. So story time. In the building phase of my van life journey, I thought I didn't really need shore power because it was going to be an extra cost, number one, and also it was going to be more structural damage to the outside of the van. I was like, oh no, I don't want to do that. So I didn't. I selected the 3000 watt energy inverter that didn't have the capability of doing shore power. Now, fasting forward to November when I hit the road, I remember like it was yesterday, I was in Texas and realizing that number one, my batteries weren't charging like they should when I was driving. And number two, I didn't have as much battery power that I needed. Super frustrated. I reached out to a company in Texas. Brian, the owner, determined and suggested that I get this alternative to shore power, which is my progressive dynamic converter charger. He installed everything. And ever since then, up until now, it has been a game changer. Now with my new upgrades and batteries, who this? I had that Vandamic reinstall it because it is just a great thing to have. Although I don't technically have shore power, even when I am in areas where I haven't seen sun in days and I need to go to an RV spot or a camp spot and charge up, I still have that option to plug up via electricity. Plug up, plug, you know what I'm saying. Next, my smoke and carbon monoxide detector. And it'll also be useful now that I have my heater installed because ain't nobody got time to be dying of carbon monoxide, is, is that a thing? Yeah. Next, my water filtration systems. So I have two. The first one is my Camco water filtration that filters my water going into my tank with the Camco attachment. That's two separate things, but it's on Amazon. And now my water is filtered as it goes through the tank. But I also have a water filtration system attached to my sink that is filtering out the water as it comes out of the sink also on Amazon. Next, my induction stove. Goes without saying, right? Yep, Amazon. These next couple of items, you don't even necessarily have to be in a van. You can have it in your home. My gold faucet, my gold soap dispenser, and my gold shower head. Next, my magnetic curtain rods that I have. Next, my bunker window 
covers. Jason corrected me the other day. He said they were called bunk windows instead of bunker windows, but y'all know I don't know how to say nothing. My magnetic buck screens. I can use them for the sliding door. I can also use it for the back doors. And you can easily attach it with the Velcro that comes with it. It, it was a game changer in Mexico and it is also from Amazon. And next, these latches that I have for my refrigerator. You can have them for your drawers. You can have them for the cabinets. They came in handy for me because when I am on those rocky roads, my fridge did tend to fly open. So these latches keep my fridge shut and the food in the fridge. All right, guys, so these next set of items are a little bit more on the domestic side. So whether you live in a van or don't live in a van, you can get these items off Amazon because they're just so darn cute. To start it off is my egg drawer. I have a lot of game changer items. So when I say these are game changer items, take it as you will. I love this drawer because obviously I live in a van and I have a fridge and so I like to have my refrigerator on the organizational side. <laughs> Are you crazy? And egg cartons to me just take up a lot of space. So when I have this egg drawer, it sits up and I can still slide things underneath. Love it. My pour over cup and coffee kettle. It came in a set and I like to use this method over a French press in the van specifically because it's not as messy. Now, when I'm visiting my mom and or go back to domestic living, I will probably stick to a French press because I just love a good French press. But for the van, the pour over method, 10 times better and less messy. Next, my fan. Yes, I do have my um, Max Air vent fan, but you guys know that when I was in Mexico, that thing wasn't cutting it. And so I needed another option since I don't have AC and I'm not going to tear up the roof of my van anytime soon to put AC in the van. So this fan is so good. I have it on right now. It swivels, it goes up and down, rotation, 360, all that jazz. And you have three different modes on it. It clips to different things. I love it. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Next, my Delxo. Is it Delxo? D-E-L-X-O. Or maybe the X is silent. Hmm. My Delxo <laughs> two-step ladder. As I have been through a few different ladders these past eight months, okay? And the first three, maybe four, I accidentally ran over them. I'm not gonna talk about that. I've been buying ladders all summer, trying them out, returning them, and I finally found one that, that works for me. It is a steel two-step ladder and I am loving it. Now, let me back it up a little bit. I use this ladder to get in and out of my van because obviously my van sits high and I don't have a step attached to the van yet. So I just need something to step on and off the van. I have really been damaging my ankle, specifically my left ankle. And so these ladders really help me get on and off the van. <laughs> Next, my plastic wine glasses. If y'all are a fancy girl or a guy like your fancy girl right here and you want to live in a van and still want to feel fancy bourgeois, then I highly recommend these plastic wine cups. I love them. They look a little dingy now. I wish they were more clear like, you know, real glass, but they're plastic. So what do you expect? I like wine. I like to drink out of wine glasses. So who says that because I live in a van, I can't? <laughs> Next, my foldable broom, right? Next, my ramen bowls. You can't just have ramen or curry soup or anything Asian-esque in a regular bowl. Like, come on, you just gotta have these bowls. They come with chopsticks and a spoon and everything. They are so great. And I don't know what kind of material they're made out of, but they're not glass and they're not plastic. Maybe it's birch. It's birch a thing? I don't know, but they're durable and adorable. My induction pot and pan set. Yes, Amazon. I loved the color of these. I needed something that was going to work for my induction stove top. You can come in like three sets, four sets, five sets, maybe 10 sets. And it's pink, it's so cute. Next, my knife set. Another super cute item. Obviously, I'm going with the theme. I love the gold, rose gold, copper colors. And this knife set, not only are they cute, but they actually get the job done. Next, my candle kit. I mentioned this in one 
one of these videos recently and I still would recommend it. On to the next, my olive oil and vinegar dispenser. It's a caddy that I've attached to my countertops and whenever I'm cooking, whenever I need some olive oil or vinegar for salads or whatever, I just get it out of the caddy and I'm all set. And it's just convenient. Now on to the next, my paper towel dispenser. Love it, super simple. All I did was attach it to my cabinets and voila okay so this next set is anything that's in the miscellaneous miscellaneous section i got from amazon love them and you may love them too numero uno my 12 volt heating blanket even though i have a heater in my van i will not give up my heating blanket it is 12 volt so it's perfect for car use and it, it, it saved my life it was loyal to me so i'm going to be loyal to it next my makeup vanity mirror so i don't have a mirror attached anywhere in the van and so this vanity mirror that i have it has little lights on it you can dim and all this other good stuff i like to do my makeup i like to look presentable sometimes so this is easy and convenient and can slip in small spaces now this next item I get asked a lot about where I got it from my iPad stand I tend to watch movies on my iPad a lot over my laptop so having this stand gives my iPad that support next is my Bluetooth speaker it's not anything special it's not a bow it's not a beats it's just a regular regular Bluetooth speaker but it's rose gold so I thought it was cute and it works it, it produces a big punch and it is Amazon. Now these headrest hooks, obviously they go without saying, um, but they're so useful to have, but I use them all the time when it comes to hanging my jackets, when it comes to hanging the garbage, I can easily throw stuff away when I'm driving or cooking or whatever. They are a good Amazon find. Now these easy carry straps is something that I recently purchased and I use them for my water hose and also for my electricity plug, wire, string. What's it called, my cord? <laughs> Girl, I just strap them around my cord or my water hole. I can either hang them on the back door or put them in my Versace cubby hole. But now I don't have to worry about my cord or my hose unraveling. <sighs> Guys, I am finally finished for today. I have been putting things in the van, cleaning the van, doing things for the van since nine this morning. It's 630. I am hot. And I'm tired and I'm done for the day. I think we did good though. I can't, I, I think I'm just, I, I'm just so excited. I, I'm really about to get back. I'm really about to get back on the road. Danette's garden looks a mess. It looks a, a, a mess. Good thing she's not here to be fussing. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. I know some of you have said that you couldn't hear the sound in the last two videos. Now I'm banking on this being the case. I have a new audio system, right? And so with the audio system, I have different receivers and different output mics. I did not successfully set it up to where you guys were hearing the both mics combined. And so when you listen to the videos on a headset, whether it's, you know, your earbuds, uh, uh, ear, you know, earphones, whatever it was, you would either hear the left side or the right side, depending on which mic I had set up it's in connection to my receiver. And so that is why that was. But if you weren't listening to the videos on any of the um, headsets or earbuds, then you could hear it fine. It's just, that was my bad. <laughs> I'm all up in the camera with my chin. I hope I ain't got no chin hair or nothing like that. I can't even talk because all these dang old kids. I'm gonna be hollering and stuff. Get in the car. I don't I know nothing about nothing. But now we should be good to go. And I hope this video was much better. And I hope y'all don't be in my comments talking about something you can't hear because you should be able to now. I'm tired of not having organization with my electrical cord and my water hose. <laughs> Time on my side. Got these hollering kids. Damn. Why these kids always got to be hollering? <sighs> don't mind my lopsided hair, y'all. I ain't washed my hair now. I don't know how long. My stuff always lopsided. You sure don't know how to do your hair? Mm. I know how to do my wigs, but I don't know how to do my natural hair. My foot sleep. Oh God. Hold on, hold on. I hate this feeling. <laughs> okay, hold on. Un momento. Un momento. 